So as many of you have heard, there's been a lot of talk around whether or not Shane Dawson is going to cover the whole drama getting stuff that happened with Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook and James Charles. And yeah, in his live stream, he just talked about this kind of dilemma that he's in. So in this video, we're gonna talk about it, but we're not gonna just be covering it like all the other drama channels are because I made a promise to all of you. By the time you leave one of my videos, I wanna make sure that you have value. I wanna make sure that you leave here and you say, huh, maybe I can learn from this and apply it to my own life to improve my mental and emotional well-being. You know what I mean? So if you just came for the drama or the tea, you came to the wrong place, all right? Uh, what? What was that? Uh, drama. We want drama. No, get, get back. We're here to talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. Uh, give us the tea, sis. No, and you know what? If you don't back off, my girl Maya right here is gonna jack you up. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from people, whether it's their mistakes or their successes, and we try to take that and see what we can do to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before we get started, I just have two quick reasons why you need to be following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. The first one is that we just did our very first Shane Dawson palette giveaway and we got two more giveaways coming up, all right? So I will be announcing the details for that coming pretty soon. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. The second reason you need to follow me is because I got this idea. I got this idea because music puts so many of us in just a good mood. So I was like, you know what? I wanna make a community playlist for all the Rewired Soldiers out there. So I've been getting song suggestions from all of you, like different songs that just uplift your mood. And we've put them all together. So make sure that you go follow this playlist. It'll be down in the description below. But it's so cool because I listen to it and I feel I feel more connected to all of you, and some of you have let me know that you feel kind of connected to the community too. It's really cool. And yeah, I'll be doing more posts to get more song suggestions from all of you, all right? But anyways, let's jump into this topic. So yeah, Shane Dawson uh, tweeted this out earlier talking about how he was about to go on live. He had some stuff that he wanted to talk about. And yeah, he went on live. Um, I'm not gonna play the whole thing, he was on for a while, but I will find a video and link the whole thing uh, down in the description below if you wanna check it out. But again, like this isn't about Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and James Charles and Tati Westbrook. We're using that as context because so many of us can relate to what these people are going through and there's so much that we can learn from it, all right? So the first topic that we're gonna be talking about is check your motives. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry to interrupt. But anyways, did you see that amazing and beautiful thumbnail? That was from Kadri Milk. She does some art for me sometimes. So make sure you go follow her on Instagram and Twitter. Her a style for art is just mwah, amazing. Love that girl. So the first topic that we're gonna be talking about is check your motives, all right? Check your motives, check your motives, check your motives. When I first got sober, I was taught Whenever I'm making a decision, whenever I'm gonna do something, check my motives. And something that Shane Dawson talked about in his live stream was when he looks at it and he assesses the situation, like, does he wanna include this footage? Does he wanna bring this up? Does he wanna show what was going on behind the scenes? He's checking his motives, all right? He's asking himself, will this bring any value to the series? Will this help anybody, right? He's looking at the pros and cons. Like why would he bring it out? And these are the questions that he's asking himself. And this is something that we all need to do, right? Whenever we're making a decision, we have to ask ourselves like, what are my motives behind wanting to do this? Is it, you know, to harm somebody else? Is it to get notoriety? Is it to get praise? Is it to get recognition? Like why are we doing 
what we're doing. And when I see Shane Dawson, like this massive creator taking a step back and checking his motives on this, like it helps and inspires me. Like, because I've been in this struggle for months now where like I, I've released videos where I didn't fully check my motives or I justified my motivations for posting certain videos or making certain videos, you know what I mean? And it's something that I'm always working on. So when I see other people out there, and this is what I suggest you do as well, is you watch people, especially people you look up to, and say, okay, this person's checking their motives. Why are they doing this? What is their motivation behind this? What is their intent behind this? Because we don't always make the right decisions, but we all have this place that we wanna end up in life. And if we make one decision after another, checking our motives, we gradually stay on that right path. You know what I mean? So the second thing is, is Shane Dawson in the live stream, he just gives like kind of like a TLDR of everything that went on behind the scenes, right? He talks about how everybody's, you know, it was, it was pretty much egos and jealousy and all these other things. Like it was just ridiculous. And let's be real, you guys, 99.999% of beauty community drama, well, even YouTube drama, is just absolutely pointless and ridiculous. So that's another reason why Shane Dawson is like, I don't know if I should discuss everything that went on with Jeffree Star and James Charles and Tati Westbrook and all that. So what I wanna talk about right now is, is this, from two different angles about our friendships, our relationships. So like, Shane Dawson has no problem saying how his friends were acting this way and acting ridiculous. Like, we, we sometimes need to call people out Right? But on the other hand too, we also need people in our lives to call us out. Like as much as people might think that, you know, I surround myself with like yes people, like I surround people myself with people who have no problem calling me out on my BS. Like Tristan, my beautiful girlfriend, will call me out so fast on my nonsense, all right? Sometimes I go against it, but most of the time I listen to it, right? And the friends that I keep in my life, like I'm a super sensitive dude, right? And you might be sensitive too. And when we're sensitive, we don't like keeping people around who are gonna tell us stuff that we don't wanna hear, right? But something I learned a long time ago, okay? A long, long time ago is, the best friends in our lives tell us what we need to hear and not what we want to hear. Right? Like when we have people in our lives who tell us what we want to hear, we get in trouble. Okay, there are some great examples of that, right? Like when you look at what Logan Paul did in Japan, right? And you see all the people who were around him in his life, like how did it pass through so many filters and Logan Paul was like, you know what? It's a good idea to upload this. And that's when we're surrounding ourselves with yes men. There's another kid, I don't know if you guys have heard about this news, but a, a kid in the Fortnite community from FaZe Clan, Jarvis, and he, got, he just got permanently banned from Fortnite. And we're sitting there and we're looking at this and we're like, how did you have so many people in your life around you witnessing what you're doing and not, nobody said, this is probably a bad idea, right? And these are just prime examples why we need people like Shane Dawson in our lives who say, yo, this is egotistical, this is jealousy, this is, you know, what are your motives? Why are you doing this, right? So the last thing I wanna talk about is the moral quandary that Shane Dawson is in, all right? And as many of you know, I've been diving really into uh, moral psychology and moral philosophy. And by the way, have any of you guys watched Atypical season three? Like uh, Tristan and I just binged it this weekend. If you want me to make some videos on it, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I absolutely love how Sam had an ethics class and he had to talk about like morality and ethics and everything. But yeah, the whole moral quandary thing. If you guys watch the season, you know what I'm talking about. Phenomenal. But Shane Dawson is in this moral quandary, right? So let's talk about morality real quick. Typically when we're talking about morality, we're talking about harm being done to others, okay? And harm is very subjective when you're not talking about physical harm, okay? So typically when they do kind of like moral thought experiments in philosophy, it, it kind of makes you ask yourself, well, is somebody being harmed in this situation? And then it goes even further and it's about minimizing harm, 
right? So anyways, when we're looking at the moral quandary that Shane Dawson is in, there's a couple different things that he needs to look at. And all of us need to look at this with our moral decisions that we make as well, right? Where Shane Dawson is his loyalty to his friends like Jeffree Star, or is it to the audience, to the community? You see what I mean? So I was having a really interesting discussion with one of my mentors about this situation, about the morality of this. So what I said to him was, um, like the question I asked myself is, does anybody really need to know? Is it anybody's business what happened, right? And when I ask myself that, and when I look at it from a moral perspective, I'm like, okay, well, Shane Dawson, does he have a moral obligation to people knowing information? Because the James Charles and Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star situation, it got more intense than your typical run-of-the-mill drama, okay? So from the audience perspective, I could see this argument, right? That the audience has a right, I'm putting that in quotations because this is purely subjective, they have a right to know who they're supporting, okay? So on one end, you have somebody like James Charles who was being accused of being a predator, right? So the question is, does the audience have a right to know if they're supporting James Charles, an alleged predator, okay? Because Jeffree Star, he had proof. But the only other option there is that Jeffree Star was incorrect or blatantly lying while accusing James Charles of being a predator. So does the audience have a right to know if they're supporting Jeffree Star, who may have been making this thing up to slander James Charles? You see what I mean? So if I was Shane Dawson, that's the moral dilemma that I would have. And just real quick, my opinion on that, and here's my opinion for all of you as well, like in your own lives, like when it comes to your loyalties and everything like that. And you know what's funny and atypical, Sam actually had this dilemma with Zahid or his company, his employer, right? With what's right and what's wrong and what he needs to show and what he needs to talk about. But anyways, like, uh, when it comes down to Shane Dawson and his decision, I just don't think he's in a position to do this, right? He's not only friends with Jeffree Star, but he's business partners with Jeffree Star. So if the audience has a right to know this, I think Shane Dawson needs to be completely taken out of the equation and somebody else needs to come in if they're going to do that and investigate. But anyways, like I said, I was talking to my mentor, like does the audience have a right to know? based on the things that I just said. And he brought up a, a very good point. A lot of it is just moral grandstanding, right? And I hate to say it, but when we really get down to the nitty gritty of morality and the decisions that we make, like so much is up in the air. Like who we're supporting, like he made a good point. Like if you have an iPhone, like you can't really morally grandstand based on some of the things that have come out about the way Apple produces its products, right? What about our clothes, do we know uh, who made these clothes? Are there any labor laws being broken? Um, and this is why morality is just an interesting conversation for me. Like, like when it comes to this stuff, like if we're ignorant to the shady practices going on, does that mean that we're no longer responsible for the moral decisions that we're making, right? If a company is doing something bad, but we just don't know about it, you see what I mean? So these are just different questions. So like when it comes to Shane Dawson, I wish him <laughs> the best, like in his uh, live stream, he talks about how it's a lose-lose situation and I absolutely agree. But anyways, to summarize this video, the solutions, the first one, check your motives. When you're making decisions, check your motives. The second thing is keep people in your life who tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. The third one is morality is messy and all of us need to quit all of our moral grandstanding, all right? But something that I've personally done to get out of some of these moral dilemmas and you know, looking at the different friends in my life and where my loyalties lie is I've cut out a lot of people from my life where they're constantly in stuff, you know what I mean? Stuff is constantly chaotic and going on. I, For my own sanity and mental health, I can't have that. All right, but anyways, 
Like I said, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter because we're doing our Shane Dawson palette giveaways very soon. I'll be making some announcements and the Spotify playlist is down below. And if you have song suggestions, just leave a comment. I'll add them to that list, baby. If there are songs that uplift your mood that you wanna share with the community, let me know. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my books and merch and all that stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.